This is the story of Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman was born March 1822 in Dorchester County, Maryland. She was born into a family of 10 that was enslaved by Edward Broaddus. Sometime after Tubman was born, Broaddus separated their family and sent her and some of her siblings to a different farm in Bucktown, Maryland. When she was about 15, Tubman was running errands for Broaddus when she saw another enslaved person try to escape. She refused to help capture them, and in an attempt to capture that person, the enslaver threw a two-pound weight in Harriet's direction. Instead of hitting the intended target, the weight hit Tubman in the back of the head. She almost died, but her mother nursed her back to health. After that, she suffered from epilepsy and terrible headaches. It's Harriet Tubman's great-great-granddaughter talking about the accident. She was hit in the head by a slave's master. And the master, when he threw the two-pound weight, it hit her in the head, and she dropped out, blacked out, and she stayed that way for about a month. Her mother took her home, and took care of her, and healed back. And she was about 15 then. And it was like a long treasury thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, as she was in this coma, she talked to the Lord. It's like he's talking to you. Clear. So clear. 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 His words to her. Yes. And he told her what she could do and what she couldn't do. They and she did like just exactly what he told her to do. They look at your team, Take these people through this, what they, they call house. Underground Railroad. It was safe houses. Mm -hmm. like was in 1849, Tubman escaped to Philadelphia. Once she was free, she began conducting the Underground Railroad. The Underground Railroad was a secret, elaborate network of people and routes that was used to assist in free escaping slaves. Over the course of a decade, Tubman led 13 separate trips out of Maryland to the north and helped lead 70 people to freedom. Why do you think she was willing to put her life on the line for so many? Because she had the Heavenly Father with her all the way. She was born into to, uh, church and, and uh, the different things of the religion, and uh, she stayed there with that. In 1860, Tubman was given the nickname Moses because, like Moses, she helped lead many of her people to freedom. Harriet Tubman died of pneumonia March 10, 1913, at age 91. She was buried in Fort Hill Cemetery in Auburn, New York. Although she has passed, her legacy lives on. In her lifetime, she helped so many people to escape slavery and find a better life and is an inspiration to many people.